Nothing could be further from the truth. Slavery didn't destroy the black family. Do you know that we were still getting married through slavery? Mm -hmm. Jump in a broom in secret, mm -hmm. even under punishment of death. We were married during Reconstruction. We were married during civil rights. When do you begin to see the rise of the single parented black female household? 1970. After they killed Dr. King, the United States government said we must neutralize the black power base. And they determined that the black power base was the black family. It was independent black skilled men and women who financed King, financed Mr. Garvey, financed Mr. Muhammad, financed SNCC and CORE, the Freedom Riders in the sit-in movement. So they said, if we want to crush the black struggle, we got to crush the black family. So guess what they did in 1970? King dies in 68. In 1970, they came into the black communities and de-industrialized our city centers. In 1970, they started shutting down the factories. Remember, up until the 50s and 60s, you didn't need a college degree to get a decent job. Many of us got grandparents who worked in factories their whole life and lived better lives than we're living now with two and three degrees. They could work in their same neighborhood and everybody worked for the factory. Good retirement, pension, benefits, medical. They started shutting down the factories in 1970 and then they went into the high schools and did what? Started deindustrializing the inner city high schools. Up until 1970, you could graduate from almost any school in New York certified as a plumber, certified as an electrician, certified as a carpenter, auto body, brick mason, a welder. They took all those programs out. These are the skills that pays the bills, gentlemen. As long as you have a skill, you can always feed your family. But if all you got is college degrees, you might end up in an unemployment line. Why? Because the, the skills that we learn in college are not necessarily marketable to other black people. I'm a psychologist. Ain't too many black people running around looking for a psychologist to reveal all the skeletons in their closet. Yeah, you so, rather talk to a white Exactly. Person. So they started sending us to college instead of teaching us how to work with our hands. That was the 70s. That was the economic castration of the black male. Now let's go to 1980. The CIA comes in, cocaine import agency. They drop off crack. So now the unemployed black man who has always been a breadwinner, Envy, even in slavery, we were always the breadwinner. Up until 1970, now the crack comes. You got a decision. I can sell this crack and try to put some food on the table, or I can smoke it to deal with the fact that I'm no longer economically relevant to the black woman. And trauma. let's be clear. The decade of the 70s was the decade of making the black man economically irrelevant to the black woman. We're the only man in America who is out-earned and out-educated by our mates. No other woman in America out-earns and out-educates their mates. And this is not the black woman's problem. I want to be clear. This was systematically done to make us irrelevant to our families. Then the 1990s come Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton crime bill, mm -hmm. three strikes and you out, mm -hmm. mandatory minimum wages, the Bill Clinton crime bill. Now all those unemployed black men who got caught smoking crack or selling crack now being sent off to jail. And then they also give us the ADHD so that we could dope the kids up with, with the same medicine that sent the father to jail. Then the year 2000 come George Bush hits us with the what? faith-based initiative. He finds a loophole in federal law that allows you to finance churches. So now the mega churches and the medium-sized churches in the black community, Charlemagne, are being financed by the government. You think it's a coincidence, Envy, that you don't see no major churches involved in the miseducation movement? No major churches involved in the mass incarceration movement? Black no Lives major Matter. churches involved in police genocide? Yeah. No major churches involved in poverty? Where is the black church in 2017 when it comes to black people issues? They're missing in action because they're being paid by the government to stay out of the struggle. And that's why it's called faith-based initiative. Your pastor is the new FBI, FBI. agent. Wow. Where are you going to tell me you're going to be tonight?